January the 9th, 2016. We're looking at the recent and upcoming Earth asteroid encounters. At the bottom, 2013 TX-68 has finally been added to this list. Now, one thing they have wrong here, and it may be intentional, and that's what concerns me, the 1.3 LD, that's 1.3 lunar distances. That's about 301, I think, thousand miles, roughly, right in that area. That's very deceptive. And what happens in, on this chart on space weather and the one on the uh, NASA JPL site, when you come over and you're kind of looking for asteroids that are close, the first thing you do is look at the missed distance. So at 1.3 LD, you'll skip that. That's very misconceiving because the initial data has not changed. And we'll look at the JPL model and go through this again. Today's date, bottom right, January 9th, 2016. We'll turn this where it's Earth facing as far as the uh, looking at our perspective. The sun's in the center at the red dot, Mercury's to the left. 2013 TX68 is in a near ecliptical orbit. That makes it harder to see because when you're at this angle, as I pull that up, it's behind the sun. And you've got a lot of glare. And when you're dealing with a rock this size, which I estimated to be 55 meters, they're saying high range is 52 meters. That's close enough. Either way, it's over 170 feet wide, which is a record. Remember the Russian meteorite they called a bolide? You were dealing with just 20 meters. And the big crater in Arizona, 40 meters. So at 52 to 55 meters, it's a large rock. Now again, this initial data has not changed. Not even the data, data arc spans or the observation times go to March 5th. Set this from days to hours. You notice that I changed that. And it gets down to a low right there of 0 0.0033 AU. Again, this was off slightly on the models because you have to go with below this on that particular page and get the technical data. This has not changed. They saw it for three days in 2013 from October 6th through the 9th. Condition code is still 7. 9 is highly uncertain. 0 is certain. Solution date still June 13th, 2014. Magnitude 25.3. That gives you the idea of the size. Again, we're talking between 52, 55 meters, 170 to 180 feet wide. This has not changed either. And this is really what you have to use. That model is just a model. This is the most technical data that you could be use to build a model. Now, you've got nominal distance, but to the right, that's what we're dealing with, is the minimum distance, the closest approach, and they do this in astronomical units. So if we take this, notice the 0 0.001578, that's the same. The very first time I did the video, it was just a little further away at 0 0.0016. But anyway, from the last video, this has not changed. That puts us at 14,673 miles. Now, what they're saying at 1.3 is 310,187 miles. Very deceptive information there, according to the true data that we have. Remember, though, these measurements are taken from the center of the Earth. That puts the real distance of the asteroid at just over 10,000 miles and that's from the surface but we have an uncertainty code of seven we also if you remember in the time uncertainty to the the second uh, column from the left you come down you'll see the close approach of the moon and the earth it comes by the moon about three and a half hours before it comes by the earth now we have all the technical data from the speed and things like that on the second video about this asteroid and i will link to that Right now, it's still on the old channel, BP Earthwatch. I do not have access to that channel. Someone else was tampering with it again, erasing videos from 2012, and they've stopped all access, even mine. I can't touch it. Can't upload videos, can't access my account in any means. But again, this is from the NASA Near Earth Object Program is where the information is originating. Now, guys, I'm not sure if it's this video that got started so much trouble on YouTube or the one where I showed the magnetopause reversal in 2012 when it appeared something that had a stronger magnetic field than our sun passed on the backside of the earth. You remember that not long ago? 
but you can pause this. You'll see that the lunar distance is 238,000 miles on the average, but notice that the moon appears 12% smaller during the period of the year when it's further away from the Earth and then when it's closer. So you've got, they average the closest and then the furthest distance during that cycle. Another thing that's interesting is that the moon is spiraling away from the Earth at an average rate of 3.8 centimeters or 1.5 inches per year or 15 inches in 10 years. Now, is that a sign of that Earth's magnetic field has been weakening over a long period of time? Again, just a side note, heads up, be safe.